You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and today we have an unboxing. I have no idea what's in this package. This is uh, from JetPens, and Audrey ordered it, so I don't actually know what's in here. I know she said some of the... Oh wait, it's got a pull tab. I'll do that. Uh, she said, uh, oh, this has got some things for your birthday and stuff. My birthday's coming up. And uh, I don't know which things are which, but she's like, whatever, you got to do an unboxing. So, uh, or an unenveloping in, in this particular case. So, let's get in here. All kinds of things. All right, this, one, this might be a little bit of a long unboxing. We'll see how it goes. All right. <laughs> she's got, oh, a lot of these are multi-pin refills. So that's not too bad. Okay. One thing is, ah, Stabilo Boss. Uh, these are great highlighters, and this is a really cool color. It's kind of creamy. Let me see if I have a piece of paper around here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Stabilo Boss highlighter. This is pale orange. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice pale orange. These, uh, these Stabilo Boss highlighters are really good. I've liked these for a long time. And then, aha, whole, whole pack of these, uh, these refills. So Audrey really likes, whoo, the High Tech C Coletto, uh, uh, wow, this is quite the bundle. She really likes the Coletto multi-pen. I'm a, uh, I'm more of a fan of, uh, the, um, uh, the style fit, but she likes the Coletto. Let me go grab mine right quick. So, this is the High Tech C Coletto. This is the 4. I think she's also got a 4. And these refill by popping the top right here, and then you can just pull the refill out. Now, I don't go through these very quickly, although you can see, like, I, I do go through them. But she uses hers for work all the time and checking off lists and, you know, all kinds of things that fountain pens aren't really ideal for. And uh, so she really goes through these, uh, these refills. And so she's ordered herself a whole bunch here. They're not very expensive. They're a buck or something a piece. Uh, we've got, uh, got orange. We've got a brown. We've got a bright pink. Uh, bright green. A nice blue. We got this red one here. And these are all 0.4 millimeters, which is a pretty good size for these Colettos. They're a little bit, I mean, they're gels. So they're a little bit wider than the ballpoints would be. Uh, and I think that's pretty good. Oh, this is a nice one. Kind of a salmon color. Uh, a darker blue. A lighter blue. A yellow. Uh, baby pink. Purple. Spring green, maybe. And then black. All right. Well, that pretty much runs the gamut. That's. That's all, that's all the things. All right, well, good. That's, um, uh, that's these. <laughs> oh, wait, here we go. Black, blue, blue, black, brown, clear blue, green, orange, pink, red, violet, cherry pink, baby pink, apricot orange, apple green, aqua blue. Uh, that's it. <laughs> so there you go. That's pretty good. Nice, nice set of refills there. That ought to keep her for a couple of months anyway. Uh, then... Oh, these are interesting. Chalk markers. So I have a chalkboard behind me that you'll see in the live streams. And uh, I was like, we should get a chalk marker. Then we can write like a little message on those for live streams and stuff. And uh, that's what this is. So we have gold and silver chalk markers. Nice. By Marvy. Man, I remember Marvy. I used to get that stuff. But yeah, these, uh, let's see, to wipe them away, you uh, use a damp cloth. Use them on whiteboards, glass, backlit boards, presentation boards, metal boards, and other non-porous surfaces. Perfect for outdoor use, such as windshields and other... No hmm, I wonder if you can actually use it on chalkboards. I don't know, I'll have to look it up and see how that works. Because chalkboards are a little bit porous. Oh wait, yeah, use on chalkboards. Alright, cool, well, there you go. Chalkboards it is. Great. I will do that. What else do we have in here? Ha <laughs> <laughs> This is something that our friend Brad the Pinnatic Dowdy found uh, a while ago and has been very popular on his Twitch channel. And that is the SMAND. S-M-A-N-D. SMAND. Uh, that's because this is a smart stand as well, like a smartphone stand as well as a pin case. So, you can open this up like this. Along this side. I did request Audrey to get a SMAND. I think she could use one at work. Uh, and you can put your pens and stuff in there. So I'll just go ahead and cram her refills in there for sure. There we go. And you can close that up thusly. And then uh, you can put this on your desk and it's a phone stand. How neat is that, right? It's got these little rubber grippy things here to hold your phone. And uh, it's a nice little backstop. Good stuff. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Smand! Plus, how fun is it to say smand? And I think this is pretty stylish. I mean, this has got a good look to it. I like it. Neat. Smand. 
We just leave that there. There, perfect. <laughs> All right, smand. We have here bistro chalk marker. Oh, is this one white? Maybe. Let's see what we have here. Yep, medium point white. Cool. So now we have uh, white, silver, and gold for our chalk markers. Very nice. Got a couple of multi pens here. This is the Zebra Sarasa multi point five. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's got a, it's got a, it's got a mechanical mechanical pencil refill in there. Is what we have here. So you push down the clip. It's a mechanical pencil. Now, how do I get this back up? She's one of the, retract one of the others. Yeah, there we go. Neat. Take this apart and see what's inside. Uh huh. Yeah. Zebra NJKO.5 Japan. All right, neat. Looks like we have a uh, a blue, black, a green, a red, and a uh, and a black refill, along with a pencil. Because sometimes you need a pencil, I guess. I mean, sometimes I use a pencil. Is that the only way to get it to? Yeah. It actually works fine if you leave the the pencil lead extended and then put it back up into the the body. There you go, Zebra Sarasa Multi, 0.5. Neat. And what's this one? Uni. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's the Uni Jetstream four plus four and one four color plus uh, plus pencil in lemon yellow. Let's get in here. I don't think I have. I don't think I have this one. Let's see what refills it takes. I definitely don't have any with pencils in it. All my multi pens were pencilless. There we go. Also, these have nice uh, nice rubbery grips on them, which is cool. I like a rubbery grip on a multi pen. Feels nice. And these pens are usually thicker than uh, other comparable pens. Oh, there we go. How do I extend lead? Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. So in order to deploy the pencil, you push down the clip. And in order to advance the lead, you just kind of click that. That's cool. I dig that. Nice dark pencil lead. Feels good. Dig it. All right. Extra multi pens. Let's see what kind of refills we have in here. Are these uh, SXRs? Yeah, I think these are the style fit refills, maybe. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I actually like the implementation of the uh, the, the ball point in here, or rather the um, uh, the pencil. I was a little dubious about that, but it seems good. Uh oh, how do I make it go back in? Oh. Uh -oh. Let's put it back together. There we go. <laughs> it needed something to push against, I think. All right, there we go. Sweet. So two multi pens. This one's that one's mine. Good. And then a bunch of stuff that's all all uh, packaged together here. So let's deploy a letter opener. Uh huh. This is the A5 Weekly Vertical Diary 2020 Agenda by Marks. Marks Inc. Oh yeah, I uh, I remember her talking about this one actually. So this might be this might be my uh, my planner for this next week this next year. We'll see how this goes. Let's see what we have in here. This is the time to buy planners. It feels like it's too early, but it's just kind of, it's just kind of because time is weird right now. Oh, interesting. So it's got like a, what is this? Oh, you can just like uh, chuck a multi pen in there. There you go. Got to take your planner with you, throw a pen in there with it. That's cool. Interesting cover. It's got fun jungle animals on there. We got uh, ringtail lemurs and tigers and a parrot. These things don't live together. <laughs> but that's totally cool. Inside, oh, this is a nice, uh, got a nice laid texture to it. 2022 agenda. Cannot believe it's 2022 already. Personal datas, year plans. This is good if you have birthdays or uh, anniversaries or you know big you know uh, pen shows or some such thing. I got a monthly layout. That's cool. 
Looks good. This paper is so smooth. I like that. Oh, interesting. Oh, what's going on here? Let's see. Yearly plan. And this has got the September tag on it. So a month at a glance. And then, then these are weeks. Okay, so then you have your week with your uh, with your day or with your hours. Uh, Monday start, Monday through Sunday, half sized for the weekends, which totally makes sense. Often we have less to schedule on weekends. Cool. And then uh, just some open space over here for making notes and such. Also a nice amount of open space down here at the bottom. That's good. And so this is weekly. All right. So it doesn't have like multiple months at a glance. You have to go to the next month, which is fine, really. Instead of having it all like, so the way that it's currently set up in my Hobonichi, I've been using the cousin lately. Uh, you have all your months up at the front, and then you have uh, all of your weeks down here in the back, and then you have all of your days uh, even further in the back. And I find that like a lot of times I'll forget to use the daily thing. I keep meaning to use it as like a diary or some such, but I never do. That's pretty good. All right, so you have these nice tabs on the sides. Lots of planners don't use a tab. They'll just have... Uh, oh, there's, there we go. We got ribbons. Good. Good. I like a ribbon. I usually have to just build them on to my Hobonichi. So yeah, that's pretty good. All right, well, this might be my planner, unless Audrey's going to claim it. It might be her planner. I might just be saying, I'm going to keep this planner, and then she has it. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, it looks nice. We'll have to see how it takes uh, pen ink and all that kind of thing, but looking forward to it. It's always fun to get a new planner. Uh, here is the Stabilo. Oh, this, these are fun. I, uh, I like these pens quite a lot. So... This is a Stabilo. I have a bunch of these pens, actually. I'm a big fan of this style, this like porous point fine. This is mud green. They're new colors. Oh, they're new colors, are they? Audrey just shouted from the other room. Yeah, that's a cool looking color. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, so yeah, oh, that's just, uh, yep, just the one. One new color, mud green. And then, oh, look at these. 20 sheets times six designs. These are fun. Well, how to use monthly, weaker, weekly plans and memos. Ah, so you can take these and put them on your planner just as a, you know, different shapes denoting different things, activities, uh, reminders. So you can have like, that's, that could be meetings and that's, you know, birthdays or something like that. Times you ate out, uh, whatever you want to put in your planner or whatever. Those are neat. There's little stickers. Let's see how these are. Looks like they are um, they're adhesive down to about here. Yeah, so mostly adhesive. That's pretty good. I was wondering how they would do the adhesive on these. Stick that back on there because I like to keep those. Yeah, those are really nice. Mud green is a good color. <laughs> and it writes really nicely on these little dots. Cool. All right. Let's put these back in their container. Elsewise, they will get messed up. There we go. Good. Neat. And then, what's this? Oh, daily plan. Oh, this is interesting. Iconic, Ma Iconic Mary Memo Pad by Daily Plan. Made in Korea. Well, that's fun. Huh. They're not sticky notes or anything. It's just a pad. That's cool. Daily Plan. So you can put up the day up here. Total sleeps. Weather. That's kind of fun. Fun little notepad you can use there. Huh. That's pretty cool. Milk. <laughs> Let's see, is this, uh, what else? What can I, uh, daily like dire, oh no, that's removable stickers. Um, daily plan. Leave it on here. Uh, there it is. Iconic Mary Memo Pad Daily Plan. That's all it says. That's the whole entry. Neat. Huh. Never seen those before. I have not been perusing the, uh, the jet pens as much as I should be, apparently. Audrey has made all kinds of good finds. There we go. 
Uh, and then this. What's this? Oh, it's a hole reinforcement. Whoa. Huh. Yeah, I just says these are for ink samples. Let's that's see. Like, that was a plan. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna work, but yeah, we'll see. Let's see what these are made of. They have refills too. I can't tell if they're plastic or paper. Is the let's oh. see. Interesting. Oh. Well, that would be bad if they. Yeah, if they're plastic, then we'll, let's see. I'll just. Um, that would be a waste. Then. We'll do this. Nope, that didn't work at all. <laughs> I need a piece of paper, I think. There we go. Ooh. Oh, they're plastic. Farts. <laughs> so they won't work for ink samples, but nonetheless, very cool. Not cool, because it's totally not what I was wanting it for. <laughs> Maybe they have refills that are paper. I don't know. One patch stamp. Wow, look at this thing. This is really cool looking. It seems cool. It is very cool. That is neat. Yeah, so if you have anything that uses a ring binder, uh, which I'm not using many of at the moment, but sometimes I do. This is a, this is cool. You just like stamp it down there, and I guess they're like they don't stick the the little uh, rings don't stick to each other hard enough to keep them from sticking to paper. It didn't stick to plastic, so I tried to pl to put it on here, and I was like, no, nah, I don't care about plastic. But once I put it on this paper. Uh, it's, it's stuck real good on this paper. Like, I'm, I can't really, maybe you can reinforce the color rings. Can't really take that off. Oh yeah, it could reinforce the color ring. Yeah, it could reinforce all kinds of things. I, I think it's neat. I never had a problem with them, but. No, I think it's neat. Yeah, I mean, the color rings are pretty tough, but like every once in a while, you never know. Yeah, that's cool. I think it's neat. I like it. Nope, ruined. I like a fun gadget, even if I don't have an immediate use for it. Uh, and then, diary remover seal. Oh, what are these? Look at all these fun cats. They're like, put them on your diary. They're called Lazy Cat. It's the Lazy Cat set. Those are some pretty nice lazy cats. Computer cats, cat faces. Uh, you can remove them, I guess. Yeah, you can probably like move them like, from day to day or whatever. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Milk, cheese, cats playing with yarn, cats in boxes. Cats do, they do love to be in boxes, I tell you what. Cats in bed with their phone. That's uh, that's me. Cats watching TV. Cats wearing bags on their heads. Cats being, cats being a loaf. <laughs> I dig it. Those are cute. Everybody loves a cute sticker. And lastly, but not leastly, this is the Nebula Casual Note dotted. Are these by um? Colorverse. Yeah, it said Colorverse. Neat. Yeah, Colorverse right there. Colorverse ink. So I have a Nebula Note pad, but it is not a ring pad. It is more of a um, just a journaly situation. Notebook. Can I get in here without? Hmm. There we go. Just <laughs> just wanted to tear the plastic without wrecking all the stuff underneath it. There we go. All right, what do we have here? Uh, ninety, whoa, ninety grams per meter, grams per square meter. Uh, Ink-proof white paper, detachable sheets, hundred and twenty pages. They're detachable. You have little stars up here. Colorverse does like their stars. That's that verse, I think. Oh, that's an interesting feeling paper. So the other one I have uses a Tamoy River paper which everybody knows about. This feels very different. It's, uh, it's a heavier paper for sure. And it's also thicker, has a little bit of a texture to it maybe. Let's uh, see, I just inked up a Colorverse ink actually right now. Let's just try this out. So this is Colorverse uh, Stars and Stripes. See if it's ink proof after all. You can definitely see the uh, the shimmer starting to pop out on there. Doesn't seem to be any uh, any feathering that I can tell. 
Dry time is pretty good. Most of it's already dry. I see a little bit of, I think this R is not completely dry. And maybe the I, or the dot over the I, but everything else is. All right, the back. Hey, all right, looks good. So this is a Platinum 3776 Music Nib uh, with this ink. So that seems, uh, that seems like it might be ink proof. Does it smudge? No. Dried? Doesn't smudge. Nice. I'm, uh, I like this Nebula Note notebook so far. And it's orange, so you can't go wrong with that. An orange notebook. So yeah, there we go. There's, uh, there's a surprise box from Jet Pens. Thank you very much, Audrey. I didn't see most of it, but ho hopefully you liked it. <laughs> She's... I forgot. She says she's forgotten what was in there too. She ordered it before she went to a pen show, so it was all uh, it was all uh, it's all a blur. So there you go. More on all of this on the channel, or most of this on the channel anyway. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Uh, Creek. Uh, dive roll. Find the thing. I knew you couldn't resist the new Kurotogo Kurotogo Kurotoga pencil. I was just borrowing it. Yeah, all right, that's fine.